Greetings and welcome to this all new episode of uh, Let's Create Something with Trapco Tao. And um, I'm kind of lying, this is not going to be a new, an entirely new episode. Uh, because in this one we're going to look at look back at something we did a couple of months ago. Uh, four months ago we created, I uh, published this tutorial on uh, creating uh, kinetic sculptures with Trapco Tao. And uh, it was a bit long, like 1 hour and 20 minutes. So. Uh, this time we're gonna create something like this. It's gonna be using the same principle, but I'm gonna try to be uh, more straight to the point and uh, this one, I'm gonna try to keep it short. Uh, so let's uh, not lose any more time and let's get to it. So let's open up After Effects and uh, we're gonna create a new composition, Control N. Let's call this one Tau Metal Wheel. And let's create a new solid in there. I'm gonna uh, Control Y and let's call this one Tau. Make to com size, can make it black. There's no particular reason for that, it can be any color. So let's get in our panel here and uh, fetch our Tau effects, which is down there now, they, now that they do have all these uh, new presets. Um, and um, let's add uh, simply uh, the effect on the solid. And we're gonna use masks in this one. So uh, we're not going to use any lights to create anything. So let's uh, shut this down for a moment. And we're going to go ahead and just create a simple shape directly on the solid. So let's go ahead and create something uh, like some kind of a key ring. So let's, uh, with our pen tool here, I'm hitting shift. So I, I have this straight uh, handle here. And let's create another one. So now uh, I'm holding, uh, not holding control, but just going to pull this on the other way around like that and I'm gonna try to keep them aligned so what we can do here is uh, hit control R this is gonna bring us the uh, rulers here so if you want to make sure that they uh, are to the same distance it'll snap here if you hold shift so uh, that's gonna make it more uh, easy for you to uh, get those aligned so let's uh, keep up uh, uh, construction our random shape here uh, whoops it doesn't matter what it is just need, uh, just some basic shape that we can rotate so uh, kind of like a, a key ring with an out curve and let's try to keep it as symmetric as possible so let's try to get those at the same distance and let's try I'm saying try to, to, to have these handle here uh, like in some kind of a symmetry here so it looks kind of pretty much uh, we can work with that so it doesn't need to be uh, perfect perfect uh, so we'll start with that let's um, now we don't have the light so there's many things that we won't be able to do but we do need it to be a mask uh, for uh, some reason and uh, I'll show you later. So let's start by uh, the first thing we're gonna do uh, in the segments is we're gonna reduce its size here uh, until we get something that's uh, pretty narrow there. And uh, we can also uh, right ahead, go down in the rendering section and uh, set it to smooth. That'll make in sort uh, that we lose our uh, segmentation here in uh, the look of our object. We can hit Control Shift H to hide uh, the mask pad here, and uh, we don't need those uh, anymore. So I can remove them and uh, hit Control R to lose them on the side there. And uh, let's align our thing in the center. So I'm going to pick up my mask again, and uh, let's hit V. So here I hit M. I'm going to be able to uh, select my mask uh, by clicking here. And uh, if I hold Shift and move it to the right there couple of steps uh, I just want to bring this thing this groove here uh, aligned with the center so it can be its pivot point for the rotation and we're not going to be more complicated than that so let's go ahead and also um, the segments we can break sides uh, if we want to lose this um, if we want to have it smoother so uh, and we can remove the chamfer here so maybe you want to just keep it like that or just add a little bit uh, on the sides here so we get uh, something that's more of a in some kind of a cylinder here and uh, the, the amount of segments for the moment I would suggest that uh, you keep as low as possible of course a higher value here will uh, result in a smoother um, edges uh, but uh, I would suggest you keep it 
a simple just for the sake of having a, a quicker response in the viewport while working so let's start ahead with that and uh, we're gonna create a basic animation on that so let's uh, directly in the uh, paths from mask section here we have this uh, rotate x y and z which is pretty neat and which is also something that i would like to uh, have this these settings here for uh, in this section here pass from light it would be really cool uh, to be able to rotate our uh, our shapes that we construct with lights because if we rotate the, the so called lights uh, for tau is going to rotate the path and uh, i would like to be able to rotate the thing ha as a whole anyway so we're we'll, we're able to do that with the um, with the uh, mask rotation control. So what kind of a rotation do we want? First, uh, we can probably have it rotated 90 degrees like that and uh, make it rotate like that. So let's have this kind of rotation. So I'm gonna create a keyframe here on frame zero on the rotation Z and let's get to the frame 90 because we're not gonna make a, an animation longer then uh, three seconds. I think it's good output duration for animated GIFs and stuff like that. So let's have it make a whole rotation. So 360, that's uh, a whole rotation. So the interpolation is going to make it so it uh, rotates like that. And there we have, uh, if we want to have a loop point here, let's get on frame 89 and uh, hit N here to close the work area and it rotates like that and of course then if we want to make it uh, and make sure that we're in the paths from mask section and not the uh, rotation properties from the segment section that'll make a, a different kind of this is not what we we don't want to rotate the, the path like that we want to rotate the whole object so um, let's have it 90 degrees so it's gonna do like like that so now we have that let's have it repeated so let's uh, get down to the uh, repeat path section here and we're gonna open up uh, the first repeater here and uh, let's uncheck that and uh, let's set that to zero and uh, let's start by increasing it a couple to five uh, and get in the world rotate so uh, if we rotate it on the Z uh, we're going to be able to make a, a circular pattern with that. So uh, the mat, how the mat's going to work here, if uh, it's going to work around the uh, 360 values, because there's 360 degrees in a circle. So if we want, for example, um, 10 objects, uh, let's say 360 divided uh, front slash for divide for a division divided by 10 which is the amount of uh, um, and and uh, this of course can be set back one to a uh, one less than the amount because the tenth one is the one that's repeated from the first one if you can understand what I mean from that so uh, if we have like uh, one repetition we have two pieces actually because the first one counts so we want to repeat it nine times that means we have ten pieces uh, if we want more we have to change the, this number here so uh, for example if we want to have uh, 40 pieces here uh, and 40 minus 1 so 39 and here we can set the uh, world rotate z to 360 divided by 40 and that's going to make us a shape like that let's create ourselves a camera so control shift alt c and let's make this one the default settings 50 millimeters let's click ok and let's hit control shift y to create a new null f4 if you uh, want to reveal that to make it 3d and uh, so we can just connect our camera to that let's um we can uh, pull back with that if we want and uh, we can use our the C uh, key to uh, switch uh, between our different camera tools and we can rotate around our object which is going to be rotating uh, shapes like that so uh, if we want to make our uh, radius bigger we can change the repeated world center uh, setting here so I'm gonna pull this amount here on the side so it's gonna make uh, a circular pattern but it, we also need to shift 
its uh, center there. Uh, so let's get in the world transform. And here uh, we're going to bring it back. So uh, let's say here the default value is uh, 540. Let's try a minus 300. So about this size here. And here we can also reduce 300 here. And uh, we'll be sure that our thing is right at the center. So here is our how it's going to go. Uh, let's make uh, ourselves some rotation here. So uh, that's a pr pretty cool uh, animation to start with. So if we want to have more, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, get back to our repeater. We can simply multiply that by 2. So we have twice as more. And uh, divide that by 2. So they all uh, get to show up. And uh, we can add one here because there was one missing. So that's uh, how we can increase uh, the pattern here. And uh, now let's get back in our paths from Tao Mask and let's give it a little bit of rotation on the Y because I think it makes it look very cool when they are tilted like this. So this is the kind of shape that we're going to get. Minus 40 degrees on the rotation and uh, it still works uh, when we rotate our things. And to give it this metallic aspect, it's pretty easy. Uh, let's just do it with the default uh, pre-built smart image-based lighting thing here and the built-in environment which is best for that I think is dark industrial um, and then you can increase this or depending on any kind of uh, pre-built you pick up from here uh, just make sure that you get the right amount of diffusion for it to look uh, more metal and we can increase that of course to uh, it's gonna give it a more metallic aspect um, in this case, let me let me use uh, perhaps the bus garage. Bus garage looks pretty neat. Or you can bring in your own. For example, uh, this one here, which looks pretty fine, uh, because it's uh, under a bridge and we got uh, uh, darker areas and lighter areas. And yeah, I scratched my teta here, so don't do like me secure your camera when you take pictures or else it's gonna fall along its lens and scratch itself uh, but it's not a big worry it's just a nice bouquet <laughs> it gives in the middle uh, so let's bring this in uh, just use a custom uh, reflection so uh, I'm creating a composition with that so let me just do that one once more uh, I'm picking this up it's uh, 5,376 by 2,688. I'm going to bring this here. I'm going to call this uh, ref reflection. And let's pick up the reflection and make a comp with it. I'm going to call this one diffusion. And the diffusion one, we don't need it to be that big. So we can get in the comp settings and lock the aspect ratio. And we're going to type down 200 here. So 400 by 200. Keep that selected. We're going to go right into transform uh, fit to comp so we're gonna make it small again and let's fetch our fast blur here because we're gonna just blur it up to uh, some amount here so i'm checking the repeat edge pixels because we don't want to lose that pixel from the edge so this is kind of the diffusion we're gonna get it it's pretty cool because we got some dark areas here because of the bridge so let's get back in the tau metal wheel I'm going to bring down this and uh, this right in there. And uh, let's uh, get back in the here. Instead of the bus garage, we're going to set this to off. And uh, for the reflection environment map, we're going to pick up our reflection here. And for the uh, diffusion, we're going to use the diffusion here. So now we can set it back. So I think this gives it a little bit more of an nicer uh, metallic aspect as if it was just close from a bridge during daytime so it's pretty cool uh, you can mess around with the, the uh, intensity of the uh, ambient occlusion here if you want to get the more uh, shadows 
in the intersection. Tweaking that is going to allow you to uh, nail down the, uh, the final look here if you want to make it more realistic. Um, it's set to smooth now, so if we make it back on flat, it's going to change the aspect of it. Of course, we can always uh, change the amount of segments here, uh, the amount of sides if you want a smoother thing there but i think that 40 is 14 is pretty okay it's not gonna make a real big change uh of course the, the amount of seg segment also is gonna make it smoother uh normally before rendering i would set that maybe to something like 180 just to have it uh smooth smooth it down here so 360 doesn't make a big difference so we don't need to go overboard on that and then uh, what else uh, let's just pick up the second uh, repeater level and uh, so the first repeater here is what we created our shape with the second repeater we're going to repeat this whole thing so let's add one and by default it's going to increase it on the on the y there and uh, depending on the result you want to uh, get it's gonna give you different you're gonna have different options maybe we don't want to have any on this one and let's try uh, the segment pos position that's pretty cool so you can pretty much uh, mess around with those values here and try to get uh, cool uh, architectures out of that and uh, let's make it quarter for the moment just to uh, test it out and it's just a rotation of our our thing here nothing more than that and it's just gonna loop and uh, since it's all repeated differently and uh, it's gonna make us nice little patterns here and uh, we're gonna get uh, some nice cool shapes based on our uh, our initial piece here that we got so uh, that's it I if you want more details go check the other tutorial uh, for the kinetic sculptures in action and uh, I will be explaining about the same thing as I just did here but in a, a more lengthy session overall uh, so uh, yeah, uh, that's just about all I wanted to talk about today. And uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, keep on creating nice stuff with Trapco Tao and posting them on social networks. I like to see that. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, hit me up on Twitter or uh, Facebook or any of those social places. And uh, as always, thank you very much and see you next time.